welcome back, Tyler Sassy, Western Welding Academy. All right, the next thing that brings us to is tees. There's all kinds of different tees. There's a standard tee, there's reducing tees, uh, there's reducing one side only tees, there's all kinds of different tees. The first tee that we're gonna talk about is just a standard tee. Let's say this is a four inch tee, okay? All right, so that means that this opening here is four inches, this opening is four inches, and this opening is four inches. You're gonna see in a minute when we go to reducing tees while we're covering this first. On a standard T, the takeoff in the blue book, when you open up your blue book and you look at it, and you look at what the takeoff is for a T, um, there's no trick that I'm aware of that, like the 45s, 5 eighths times pipe size, or pipe size half, half, and half, you know. There is no trick, you gotta just measure them, or you gotta look them up in the blue book. Um, to my knowledge, there's no, um, there's no trick for, for figuring it out. One of the things that you need to be uh, aware of when you're, when you're laying out your piping and you're, you're uh, doing takeoffs for tees is on a standard tee, this center line, the tee is measured from the face of this tee to this center line here. In the blue book, it labels this as four and an eighth. So this fitting takes off eight and a quarter inches. And so why that's important is if you've got a flange and then a T and a 90, these are one line drawings, just like we showed you how to do, right? These are the welds. Now, if we were to put a T right here, it would be welded in right there. When you're calculating this run of pipe from this center line to the face of this flange, and you went to take out for this T and you went to look in your blue book and it said, oh, it's four and an eighth. If you only take out four and an eighth, that's only half the T. And that's why it's important that you, you know that and you're aware of it when you're doing measurements that are like this, where the T is in line. The other thing is when you're figuring this pup from the center of the T to the face of the flange, That's when you're gonna take off for half the T, which would be this portion right here, four and an eighth. But in the long, you need to take off for the whole T. On standard T's, this dimension, from this face down to this center line, is gonna be the same as this dimension. That's another mistake that a lot of pipe fitters make. That's only on a standard T. This, from the face of this opening of the T to the center line this way, that dimension is gonna be the same as half the T on the run. On a reducing T, it's always different. That's the critical information on a T. Standard T, all the dimensions are always gonna, they're always gonna equal. On a reducing T, they're not gonna. And you have to, uh, you have to be aware of that when you're measuring them out. So recap on tees, when they're in a line, you need to make sure you're taking off the whole tee. When they're reducing tee, you need to double check and go back to your blue book and look, because this dimension is gonna be different than this dimension. So let's go back here. And I happen to have a four inch tee. Now, if I hook this right here, and I look at it, it's eight and a quarter inches. Now this center line, because that's the center of this T, from the face of this to this center line is four and an eighth inches because it's half of this dimension. So that's a standard four inch, four inch, four inch T. Okay, this is a six inch standard T. So it's six inches, six inches, six inches. All the openings are the same, it's a standard T. Now you measure this, 
it's 11 and a quarter. Okay, so half of that would be five and five eighths, half of the T. From this center line to the end would be five and five eighths, right? Okay, now when you measure from this face to the center line, you're also gonna be five and five eighths. There again, six inch standard T, just the same as a four inch standard T. They're always gonna equal the same dimensions. When we get into a reducing T, this is a four by three reducing T. Four inch on the inlet and outlet side, and on the bullhead side is three inch. Okay, you can see it's a little bit smaller. So this dimension, we measure this, this is still eight and a quarter inches, right? Overall is eight and a quarter. This dimension from here to here, it's three and seven eighths. All right, here's another reducing T. This is a four by two reducing T. So we have four inch here, four inch here, and two inch on the bull nose. Measure that, same thing, eight and a quarter. Okay, that run, that run is not changing at all. Okay, then we measure from this face to the center line. To the center line, it's three and a half inches. All right, so that's a couple things on tees. They're not real complicated, but that's a few little tricks that you need to be aware of when you're doing your layout on tees. Don't forget that that, that blue book only shows you half of that tee in both directions. And so if it's in line, you gotta take out for both halves. Okay, that's a common mistake. In, in one of the previous episodes of Pipe Fitting 101, we showed you how to do the takeoff of a 90 and how that works to do takeoffs on both ends to find your pup length. In the next video that we're going to shoot for you, we're going to we're going to do the same thing, but but it's going to be an offset that uses 45s. So stay tuned for that video. You're going to want to catch that one too.